The souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who followed the footsteps of Christ, and since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exhort with Christ forever. Today is the memorial of Saints Pontianus and Hippolytus, third century martyrs of the church, Pontianus Pope, Hippolytus Priest. Holy Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the soul of James Rook, whose birthday it would be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have done this. And what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous Therefore, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, and the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Christ, have mercy. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Let us pray. May the precious long suffering watch. You will shoulder your pack and go out into the dark. You will cover your face so that you cannot see the country, since I have made you a symbol for the house of Israel. I did as I had been told. I packed my baggage like an exile's bundle by daylight. And in the evening I made a hole through the wall with my hand. I went out into the dark and shouldered my pack as they watched. The next morning the word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, did not the house of Israel, did not that set of rebels ask you what you were doing? Say, the Lord says this. This oracle is directed against Jerusalem and the whole house of Israel, wherever they are living. Say, I am a symbol of you. The thing I have done will be done to them. They will go into exile, into banishment. Their ruler will shoulder his pack in the dark and go out through the wall. A hole will be made to let him out. He will cover his face rather than see the country. The word of the Lord. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. They put God to the proof and defied him. They refused to obey the Most High. They strayed, as faithless as their fathers, like a bow on which the archer cannot count. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. With their mountain shrines they angered him, made him jealous with the idols they served. God saw and was filled with fury. He utterly rejected Israel. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. He gave his ark into <coughs> captivity, his glorious ark into the hand of the foe. He gave up his people to the sword in his anger against his chosen ones. Never forget. Alleluia, Alleluia. Because of your love, give me life, and I will do your will. Alleluia. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? As often as seven times? Jesus answered, not seven, I tell you, but 77 times. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When the reckoning began, they brought him a man who owed 10,000 talents, but he had no means of paying. So his master gave orders that he should be sold together with his wife and children and all his possessions to meet the debt. At this, the servant threw himself down at his master's feet. Give me time, he said, and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master felt so sorry for him that he let him go and cancelled the debt. Now as this servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him 100 denarii, and he seized him by the throat and began to throttle him. Pay what you owe me, he said. His fellow servant fell at his feet and implored him, saying, Give me time and I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison until he should pay his debt. His fellow servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened, and they went to their master and reported the whole affair to him. The master sent for him. You wicked servant, he said. I cancelled all that debt of yours when you appealed to me. Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And in his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly Father will deal with you, unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. Jesus had now finished what he wanted to say, and he left Galilee and came into the part of Judea, which is on the far side of the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth, and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory, we venerate especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, our spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us. Save us. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, who John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Machalinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them. Fill them with life, bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Kowati, thy kingdom, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. <clears throat> Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord.
spiritual communion. I wish, Lord, to receive you now with the purity, humility and devotion with which your Most Holy Mother received you and with the spirit and fervour of the saints. The body of Christ.
See how rich is the saints' reward from God. They died for Christ and will live forever. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labour in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just remind you, tomorrow being Friday, the Mass is at midday, and it's the memorial Mass for Nora Ego de Vela, who died earlier this year, and who will be buried, her remains will be buried tomorrow at the end of Mass in the memorial garden. And I remind you also that on Saturday there's no morning Mass because of the ordination of a deacon here in the church, uh, which is sadly only um, by invitation of his, to his family and friends. But please pray for Michael Barwick, who will be ordained a deacon for our, our diocese on Saturday, and please got a priest next year. And of course, it goes without saying our prayers and thoughts and affections are with Andrew and Claire and all the family and friends today. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mass. Hail our life, our sweet and our Sacred Heart of Jesus, Amen. Our Lady of Birds, Amen. St. Joseph.